Now let's look at some features of box plot. This is a box plot and this is a typical example. Now let's look at the first one. Box plot make use of five main calculations. We make use of the smallest number or the least number in the data, the lower quartile which is normally called the first quartile, the median, the upper quartile which is also called the third quartile and the maximum or the biggest number. And the gap between the lower quartile and the upper quartile is what we call the interquartile range. Using a formula you can just work it out by subtracting the lower quartile from the upper quartile. We'll talk more about it in our calculations. This is a typical example of a box plot. You could see the maximum number is 13, the upper quartile here is 10, the median is 8, the lower quartile is 5, the smallest number is 0. And if you want to work out the up the interquartile range, it's 10 minus 5, upper quartile minus lower quartile, and that will give you 5. Now, one thing I want you to understand is that box plot, the calculations that we've made mention of, we use it to divide the data into quarters, as you can see. From the minimum to the lower quartile is a quarter. Lower quartile to the median is also another quarter. Median to upper quartile, the another quarter. Upper quarter and the maximum another quarter. So you divide it into quarters. But it doesn't mean there has to be exactly a quarter on a line. All it's trying to tell you is that the data is divided into quarters. The data is put into quarters. The range of the data is put into quarters. So that is a quarter. From this point to the median is half because two quarters is equal to half. From the minimum to the upper quarter is three quarters. Three quarters. Now let's see how to calculate box plot value uh, the calculations for box plot from raw data.